Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to check out the Ceramonic Blink 500 Pro B6 dual channel 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone system. This is a wireless microphone system with a USB-C direct connect receiver. That means it's going to work with your Android devices like your Samsung smartphones and your Pixel smartphones and you, even your iPad Pros. So let's jump into it, check it out, and here we go. All right, before I open the box up, let me just go over some of the highlights that they point out on the box. So it says it, it has a portable, a portable charging case for transmitters and receiver. It has a dual, cha a dual channel receiver for USB-C devices, delivers exceptional broadcast quality professional sound, ideal for video production, vlogging, mobile journalism, and much more. And it includes uh, a built-in microphone and an extra SRM1 lavalier microphone. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, and open up this uh, this uh, box right here. Let me cut through this plastic right quick so I can get this thing opened up. And let's go ahead. We'll toss that off to the side. And let's see. I think this is going to open from the from the back here, or maybe it slides open. Let's see. How do we get this thing open? I think it opens from the bottom here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, and get this box opened up and see what we have here. So let's see, this is gonna slide on out. There we go, set that over there. And now we're gonna get a user manual. So if we need that, we'll, we'll use that. This is going to be uh, the charging case where everything is going to be included. So we can see here, we're going to have the uh, the charging case in there, and let me just turn this little light on so we can get that a little bit better there, so we can see we're gonna have a charging case there, and this actually comes out. So if you don't want to use this, you can just have the case right here, and inside the case is where we are going to have all of our stuff there. So you can see we're gonna have the transmitters and the receiver right there. So, all right. We'll set that off to the side for just a moment. Now we're also going to get in this box, uh, another little box with some accessories in here. So we are going to get a, uh, a furry dead cat, set that over there. We're going to get another furry dead cat because we have two transmitters, both of them that have, both of them which have uh, built-in microphones. Uh, we are going to get our infamous silica gel. <laughs> We are going to get a USB-C uh, A to USB-C, uh, excuse me, a USB-A to USB-C um, cable so that we can plug in the case because the case on the back here is going to have a USB-C port on there so that we can, uh, we can charge up. And we are actually going to get two, oh no, this is going to be a USB uh, a to micro USB cable, which I'm not exactly sure why we're gonna use that, but we'll find out in a moment. And then we're going to get two lavalier microphones. I actually thought it only came with one, but it actually comes with two lavalier microphones. So you can actually plug both, um, you can use these with the transmitters instead of the built-in trans, uh, built-in microphones of the transmitter if you want. I almost never use these anymore because I like the way that the mics sound on the built-in transmitters. So um, yeah, all right. Let's, uh, and if you, if you wonder how I know that, that's because I actually have a, a pair of Ceramonic Blink 500 Pros, but the, not for the mobile devices, but for the uh, regular camera. So the capsules, I believe on the transmitters are the same. The real big difference is going to be is the receiver. So, all right, now that we have everything uh, unboxed, I'm gonna go ahead and actually put this, uh, connect the transmitter to my phone here. I have my, uh, my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the, the, uh, the receiver and the transmitters together and put the receiver on my phone. And then we're gonna test it out and see how it sounds in here. All right, so I went ahead and hooked everything up and I'm actually using the wireless mic system right now. So I'm using my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and I have it hooked up. Now I think I have the audio levels about where they should be. You can make adjustments. So 
on the uh, on the transmitter, you can go into the menu system and actually adjust the mic levels, the gain level, so that you can take it, uh, you know, wherever it is that you need it, so that you're not clipping your audio or your audio levels aren't too low. You can make those adjustments. So if you don't have manual controls of your audio levels on your phone, you can actually help control some of that with the uh, with the actual audio levels using the uh, the transmitter here. So what you're hearing right now are the built-in microphones of the transmitter. I'm gonna go ahead and just tap it. It's underneath my shirt right now. You can hear that. So I normally keep my transmitters uh, just clipped to my tank top underneath my shirt so that's not seen, but you can see this is what it looks like here. So now because this is a dual channel microphone system, if you have two people that you wanna mic up, you can actually turn this on and you can have two people mic'd up and you can adjust those audio levels individually so that if one person is, speaks louder, the other person speaks quieter or softer, you can have those levels adjusted so that you get them both optimized for each person. Now I wanna see how this microphone system performs when I'm outside and if it's gonna have decent range. So right now I'm only maybe about five and a half feet. I've measured it with my, uh, with my phone measure app. I'm like five feet, nine inches from my phone right now. But the barn behind me is about 46 feet away. So I'm gonna go ahead and just walk backwards and first thing I'm gonna do is actually break line of sight and turn my back so that the receiver and the transmitter are not in a direct line of sight and see if there's any signal drop out. And then I'm gonna walk back there and I'll turn around and I'll see once it has line of sight if there's any drop out and if there is, if it picks the signal back up and then I'll walk back facing the camera so we can see how this, uh, how this microphone system performs. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn my back and I'm gonna start walking and it is very windy out here uh, right now. So not very windy, but there's a, there's a fair amount of wind out here. And I have the microphone underneath my shirt and I have the little dead cat on it so that it should be blocking out some of that wind noise. So now, right now I am about 46 feet away from my, uh, the transmitter and the receiver about 46 feet away from each other because that's the distance I am from my, uh, my phone right now. And so it should, right now have a good signal since it is at light the sensors line of sight and there's really nothing interfering here so we'll see how well this works now this can be a problem for some microphones because it is out in the open and there's nothing for that signal to bounce off of so it really has to have a fairly strong signal so it can reach and uh, and actually connect with the the transmitter and the receiver can connect to each other so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and start walking back. We'll see how this is uh, performing, if there was any dropout or not. Hopefully this is performing really, really well because from my experience, Sarah Monik has had pretty good, uh, has had pretty good performance when it comes to range. And so we'll just see if this is actually uh, going to stay connected when it's in, uh, when it doesn't have line of sight and when I'm back there about 46 feet away. So we'll just have to listen I'm going to find out when I play this back. You'll find out as you play it back and we'll kind of get to experience it together in that way. Now, another thing that I like about this Ceremonic Blink 500 Pro system is that the receiver is nice and small. And so it's very, very uh, compact and discreet if you're filming with a phone. It's just a very nice way if you're out there vlogging and you don't really feel comfortable having a big camera, you can go ahead and put this receiver onto your phone, you can clip the transmitter underneath your shirt like I have right now, and you have a very compact, discrete system all together. Now, another nice thing about this receiver is there's actually a headphone jack on there, so if you wanted to monitor your audio, you can. So let's say you're doing an interview and you have some one or maybe two people mic'd up since this is a dual channel system, you can go ahead and pull, uh, put your headphones on, plug it into the receiver and monitor your audio. That way, if you're getting any interference, or there's some clothes ruffling noise or something weird's happening, you'll know and you can fix that problem. Or if the audio levels are off, you can also know about that as well too. So it's a really nice way to be able to just make sure your, your whole system, your whole setup, everything is working exactly the way you want it. 
So now one thing that I don't like about the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro system is that I really wish that there were audio levels on the receiver. It would make it very, very easy to actually judge what your audio levels are gonna be. Now, part of the problem with uh, shooting with mobile phones is most mobile phone uh, you know, camera apps don't have audio levels on there. And right now I'm filming with the Galaxy Z Fold 3, which does have audio levels on the Pro app. Unfortunately, if you're filming yourself like I'm doing right now, you can't see those levels. Now, I do have the screen that allows me to see myself from the front. However, you don't get all of that information that you get on the back screen on the front screen. So it'd be very nice if the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro uh, receiver actually had audio levels on the receiver. Now, one last thing that I wanted to mention about the receiver is there's a switch on the side that allows you to switch from mono to stereo. Now, this is really nice because if you want to have your left and your right channel working independently, you can do that with the stereo setting. But if you want to have both your left and right channel working in uh, conjunction with each other together at the same, the same levels, you can go ahead and leave that on mono and everything will be mixed down together the same on the left and the right. But for instance, if you wanna use the uh, one transmitter on one person and one transmitter on another person and you want those on independent channels, you can go ahead and have your stereo mode and one channel is gonna be on the left, one channel is gonna be on the right. And if you wanna have them both on the same channels, on both on the left and the right, you just go ahead and switch that back over to mono and you're good to go. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is it. That is a look at the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro B6 wireless microphone system. And yeah, I have to say, I like this system a lot. There is a lot to like about it. I love the fact that you have two transmitters and one receiver so that you can mic up two people at the same time if you want. It actually comes with two lavalier microphones so that you don't have to use the included built-in uh, microphone, you can actually go ahead and use a lavalier microphone. And since I figured I already have the microphone system set up, why not shoot my outro with it? And it gave me an opportunity to go ahead and hook up the lavalier microphone so that you can hear it. And that's what you're hearing right now is the lavalier microphone hooked up to the transmitter and going into the receiver of my, uh, into my phone here. So yeah. Anyways, there you have it. That is the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro B6. I'm going to leave a link to it down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also going to leave a link to my Amazon page and my social media contacts. You can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry What Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.